Hi there, students. Zigzag, zigzag. Um, a noun and a verb. Okay, I'm going to start with one suggested origin of this. If you look at the word zigzag, it's got two Z's in it. And a Z is a zigzag pattern. It's a zigzag. So a zigzag, something goes up and down and up and down and up and down. Yeah, it, it turns radically. So, for example, a saw to cut wood. Yeah, it has a zig. The teeth are a zigzag pattern. <laughs> and this is the idea of zigzag. Something that lo looks like a long row of Zs all joined together. And I quite like this explanation of the origin. I, 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 d I don't know if it's true or not, but that's it. The road zigzagged along the coast. Yeah. Um, uh, if you've got some pinking shears, these are scissors that cut a zigzag pattern on the edge of your paper. Okay, so, yeah, pinking shears. Um, so, zigzag. It's something that goes, a line that alternatively goes left and right and left and right. Yeah, he um, he uh, wrote, he drew a zigzag pattern uh, on in the dust. Okay, so having the form of uh, a zigzag. Then, to zigzag, well, um, they were shooting at him, so he zigzagged as he ran, one side and the other, yeah, to, to uh, move in a zigzag course. The river zigzagged down the valley, okay, so to twist and turn, to snake, to move backwards and forwards, um, zig zigzagging, um, a zigzag pattern. There's actually quite a nice idiom with this. Um, I zigged when I should have zagged. You need to use the whole thing. Um, whatever, yeah, so if you say I zigged when I should have zagged, this means I chose one thing when I should have chosen the other. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. You know very often life, we've got these d decisions, that one or that one. I'll do that one. And if that one's the wrong one, you zigged instead of zagged okay so i zigged instead uh, i zigged when i should have zagged yeah i um made the wrong choice i think it's quite a nice idiom yeah um so zigzag to go backwards and forwards um yeah i was zigzagging between the two options yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, take, well, well, what about the other one? The other one looks really good. Okay, so you're going from one uh, to the other. Or maybe the fortunes of the team zigzagged along the season. They did really well and then they did really badly. Yeah, so it's got this idea of to go up and down. Yeah, um, the uh, road zigzagged down the mountain. Yeah, he was drunk and he zigzagged his way down the street. Yes, yeah, so going from side to side. Okay, so formality. This is a, a rather informal word. I think I'd give it a four in formality, maybe even 4.5. Using an informal conversation, definitely semi-formal conversation would be fine. Semi-formal writing, maybe just about. And the idiom I zigged when I should have zagged, I would keep it to info, uh, informal and semi-formal conversation, but no more. Um... Okay, so let's get back to the origin again. Um, let's see. It's probably borrowed from French. Uh, zigzag, same thing. Uh, which might actually come from uh, German. Zigzag, yeah. Um, but that itself might come from Walloon. Walloon's uh, one of the languages that they speak in Belgium. It's like a Dutch language. Um, so that's uh, another interesting possibility. Okay, so a zigzag line, it's sh sharp turns in alternating directions. Yeah, it, it's, it's wavy. Yeah, um, 
to zigzag, to wind backwards and forwards, to snake. The the road zigzagged uh, across, uh, across the countryside. I zigged when I should have zagged. I chose the wrong thing. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Zigzag. I zigged when I should have zagged.